Did you know that WordPress creates at least four and sometimes more images for every image you upload? And most of those images are never used by your website. They just sit on your hosting account taking up valuable space. Well, now you know. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to remove unused images quickly, easily, and for free so you can free up server space. Hi, I'm Bjorn from WP Learning Lab. Let's get started. This is the media library on a website installed on my computer. I uploaded some template um, pages to it. And so there's a bunch of images that came with that. And when you look at the media library, you think this is the image and there's only one image, but there's actually a lot more than one because WordPress makes different versions of every single image. For example, this image here, we just have one file name right here and you think, well, that's it. Turns out that's not the case. If I go into the folder of this website, this website's installed locally on my computer, but it'd be the same thing on a live website on a hosting account. I'll show you how that looks on a live site near the end of this video. But this site is installed locally on my own computer. If you wanna know how I did that, I've got a tutorial for that right up above in the card or the description down below about how to, how to install websites locally or how I do it. And this image right here, let's go to this one. This is the actual image that we see in this little preview up here on the right. And there's a different version here, it's 300 by 300. Then we have 245 by 300. Then we have 150 by 300. Then we have 100 by 100. All these different sizes are created when one image is uploaded. And it also depends on where it's uploaded and how, and it depends on your theme. For example, this image here for dog grooming, it has the same, it doesn't actually, it was 300 by 300 was the one we had before. But each one of these has a bunch of different images. This uh, hero image for ebook checkout. It has the main image and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven other images that the theme may or may not use, but it's all taken up space on your hard drive. And when you do backups of your website, it's gonna chew up backup space. If you're using optimization plugins to optimize your images, it's gonna chew up optimizations, especially if you do uh, live optimizations like ShortPixel does where they have an option where you can optimize an image once uploaded, but they also have options where you can optimize it live, depending on what type of device your visitor is using. So by having extra images, you're chewing up space on your hard drive and you're chewing up potentially credits for optimization plugins. And you can also check what your theme is doing. If you go to settings and media, theme on this website is creating all these images. It's only three in this case, when anything's uploaded. Yours might have a lot more or a lot less. Because I imported templates, that's probably why we have other image sizes that aren't listed here. But when you upload a file to your media library manually, WordPress will create at least this many images for you, maybe more depending on the theme. And the trouble is most of them aren't being used, but we can clean them up. We can identify the ones that are being used and get rid of them. To do that, we're gonna install a plugin. It is called WP Vivid. Let's look that up. This is the one we want right up here. Click on install now. This is a backup and migration plugin. I use this to backup all my websites. WP Vivid is one of my go-to plugins for backups and things like that. So if you wanna check that out, I've got a full tutorial on backing up your site and migrating it if you need to. It's in the description down below or the carp above. Now that's installed, we have a WP Vivid backup plugin here. And this looks different than the pro version. So if you're using the pro version, this might look a little different. For the free version, this is how it looks. Image cleaner is the option we want. Let's go to that. I'm gonna click on scan, and it's gonna scan the uploads directory of this website. And this website doesn't have that many images because there isn't that much going on. Let's check how many we have. So here it shows 107 media items that have been uploaded. Of those 107 media items, this plugin found that we have 157 media items that are not being used. They're not linked to any posts or any pages. And it does this by searching the database. So it knows which pages are linked to where. And this is all the images right here. You can review each one individually. That's not all of them in fact, there's eight pages. You can go through all of them. You can also check the boxes of the ones you want to get rid of and choose isolate selected images. Click on apply. Now this puts it into isolated media on the right over here. And now this is where you can then delete the ones you want to delete. I, in this case, am going to click on 
isolate all images and click on apply. And you also notice it was 8.57 megabytes of images that are currently being isolated over here. That means that every time I back up the site, every time I restore the site, this 8.57 megabytes is going to be added to the totals. It doesn't need to be. So that's why I want to clean this up to make my site leaner, faster in various ways, take up less server space. And for a small site, it doesn't matter too much, but I'll show you a bigger site in just a minute. Uh, so now we have all the images isolated here. I can click on this, choose delete all images because I selected all of them. Click on apply. Keep in mind, once deleted, the images are lost permanently. This action cannot be undone unless you have a backup in place. Luckily, WP Viva does backups too. So you can back it up before you do this. Or if you are just deleting the various sizes, because you can go through and isolate the specific ones that you want. So you can isolate just the images that are added to blog posts where these settings would apply, the different sizes. And then you could use a thumbnail generator plugin to regenerate thumbnails if you needed to. So even though deleting is permanent, there's various ways you can protect yourself. I'm going to click on apply. I'm going to delete all these images. And now they're all gone. Now we have more space on our server, which is awesome. This is WP Learning Lab, the website. You'll notice this is the pro version. And it looks a little different. It's got colors for various things. If I go back to WP Vivid Free, it's kind of bland. The pro version is much nicer. Anyway, this site has 2,534 images that are unused. Total size of 157 megabytes. You might think that's not that big of a deal, but it is if you're doing daily backups. That's a lot of extra space on your server, depending on where you're saving the backups. No matter where you're saving them, it's going to take up space. But you might have unlimited space wherever you're going. But also, when you're restoring from a backup, having a bigger backup is more troublesome. If you're migrating your site, having a bigger site to migrate is more cumbersome. And because more of these images are made every time you upload to your media library, you should be doing this regularly just to make sure that your website is as lean as possible. Really quickly, I was saying you can regenerate thumbnails if you need to. If you find that you delete some images that you needed for various parts of your website, the regenerate thumbnails plugin right here is the one you want to go to. It's currently untested. This one is tested and currently compatible. I've never used this one, but I've used this one in the past and I'm sure all these do pretty much the same thing. I just prefer to stick with ones that have recent updates, but this will make or remake images that you may have deleted in this process, this cleanup process that we've gone through here. And then you can get those images back if you need to. If you haven't done so yet, click subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss any future videos. And next up, check out this video right here that walks you through how to use this same plugin to back up and restore your websites. Check that out. Right over here somewhere. I'll see you there.